Hi everyone and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be talking about how I groom my long haired guinea pig Rem. So as you can see Rem is in a bit of a mess at the minute. Um, he's not usually this messy. Because Rem is a long haired guinea pig he needs regular grooming which means like brushing and making sure his hair doesn't get all gross. Now Rem absolutely hates getting brushed so instead I like to give him a shorter haircut every now and again. Um, so as it was coming up to the time he needed his hair cut and he also needed a grease gland clean because he has quite an overactive grease producer so it gets quite messy down there um, he actually injured his foot so he bruised his foot quite badly um, and ended up having to limp on it for a while and having medication and so that made me decide not to groom him for a while just to kind of let the foot kind of settle down I didn't want to cause him any more stress and potentially make him hurt himself worse if he's like struggling so he does look quite a state at the minute as you can see around his ears that's he's kind of stained from where he was having some medicine on there for the foot and um, like i said before his grease gland at the back is all gross and knotty so he just looks like he needs a little bit of uh, a makeover so to start i like to find big chunks of hair and just hack off long bits that i think don't need to be as long as they are on him at the minute. Uh, here I'm just using regular human hairdressing scissors which I got from Boots. So I like to hack it off and then I like to kind of make it a little bit less of a sharp edge um, I'm not a hairdresser or a animal groomer at all, so it's a bit messy and I'm just kind of winging it to be honest. Um, but it seems to work for him and it's not like it needs to be perfect anyway. Um, so here are some thinning scissors as well that um, I use as well just to kind of make the edges again less harsh. Um, they came with these scissors and they're, they're pretty cheap to find, I think these ones were like seven pounds or something so and then you can get a lot of uses out of them as well so it's all good so when i'm cutting rem's hair i like to keep my hand between the scissors and rem himself um just in case because he in the past he has kind of tried to flick around to stop me see what i'm doing or if i'm like pulling on something that's kind of sore like a, a knot in his hair he will kind of turn around and be like oh what you doing? So I like to use my hand as kind of a barrier a lot of the time to try and make sure that he won't flick around and get stab himself in the face with the scissors. So because Rem absolutely hates brushing, I do this um, reasonably regularly because I think if a knot appears then I just snip the knot off straight away and don't he just absolutely hates me trying to detangle his hair and so it's easier for both of us if I just do uh, a big haircut now and again um, instead of having to put up with making him upset So this haircut is actually a lot uh, longer than I usually leave it. Um, it didn't go as short as I have done in the past. I actually think Rem looks really cute with the short hair. Um, but he, you know, he, he obviously is cute with the long hair, but it's just not practical enough for guinea pigs. So usually when I'm doing this, I like to also put like a pile of grass or something to keep him sitting still. Um, but as you can see Rem's being very good and sitting very nicely for me today. He's quite used to this now as he gets it quite a lot. So around the edges of his back feet is where most of the knots appear because that's kind of his longest bits. Um, so I try and cut them down because as well as them being knotty they also pick up a lot of dirt when he's walking around so they just they just get a lot dirtier than the rest of him. So I like to try and get that as clean as possible with hacking off the hair.
So it is quite hard doing the little bits on his sides um, and you've got to be very careful to try and make sure you don't accidentally cut his skin because some of their skin can be kind of mobile so when you're pulling out a bit of hair you can actually end up pulling some skin out. So that's another reason why I like to put my hand between Rem and uh, the scissors because you can kind of, it gives you more chance to realise, oh this is skin, this isn't hair sort of thing. So what I like to do is first I like to do the haircut and then I will move on to the grease gland because with the grease gland I like to, he, he gets it where it comes down a lot onto his hair and his lower hair so then it kind of clumps together. So what I like to do with that is I like to cut off the clumps first, uh, cut off as much of the hair around there that I can um, and then I'll go in and try and clean the grease gland which I will also be showing in this video. So Rem also gets these funny little long bits around his um, back legs and near his feet and in his crotch area as well which for a long haired guinea pig can be quite an issue. Um, so I actually haven't got any footage of this because I needed to ask uh, my camera lady to uh, prop him up for me to cut these bits but he does get quite long on his stomach um, as well and the crotch area with long hair can actually get caught inside his um, his private parts, which can cause him quite a lot of pain as you can imagine. So you have to be quite careful that they're A, not too long, and B, you've got to keep an eye out to make sure they haven't gone up there, and if they have, you can then pull it out and make sure he's all, all okay. So as you can see in this bit of footage, Rem really doesn't like his back end being touched. Um, he's been very good for most of the other stuff, so I just give him a little chin tickle and give him a break, like, give him regular breaks if he's getting a bit uncomfortable, just to make him you know, make him not hate the whole experience. So for cleaning his grease gland, I like to use coconut oil. I have used olive oil in the past, but coconut oil I find is a bit easier to control. Um, you want to have it quite melted. And I just grab some tissue paper um, or kitchen roll, whatever works easier for you, or even like a cloth or some towel. I've used towel before. Uh, and you just want to dip it in, get it like a decent bit on it and this oil is used to actually break down the oils that are on his grease gland already and um, so I like to kind of let it soak you can hold it on um, and then I find the best method for actually getting it off is kind of rubbing it you don't want to be too hard because obviously it's uncomfortable for the guinea pig but you got to be having enough pressure that it actually starts to remove some of the dirt so this pulls it off the hair as well as the actual grease gland itself. Um, as you can see, his is quite discoloured, but it is coming off slightly on the tissue. Um, you've just kind of got to gauge how hard you can press and what your guinea pig will let you do. Um, obviously don't be too forceful with it because you don't want to hurt them. But just give it a good rub. Keep going, like, changing tissues. It does take quite a while to start getting dirt off it, I must admit. Um, and the coconut oil is quite good for their skin as well. Um, it's quite moisturising and it, it, I must admit it actually does really make the hair soft if you get it on the hair. Obviously not too much because you don't want them to look all greasy and stuck together but it does make them very soft. So you can see it coming off onto the tissue there.
with this you just gotta have patience and just keep trying until you can get as much as you can off. I wouldn't try too hard, you don't need to get it all off because it is natural for them to have it. It's just if, like Rem, your guinea pig's got a overactive one where it just produces a lot more grease than it really needs to and it gets all over his hair, especially with Rem being white, you can very much tell when he's uh, getting a bit messy back there. So after I've done the grease gland cleaning, I then will bath Rem. So I've found the best way to bath guinea pigs is actually in the sink. I've tried in the bath, I've tried in um, washing up bowls, and it's just the easiest way I find because you can get quite a bit of water under him, but also for when it comes to rinsing off any shampoo and things on them, using the running water from the tap is actually really useful and you can make sure all the suds are off him so he doesn't irritate his skin. So I use as you can see on the side actually, um, is a small animal shampoo. I get this from the pets, um, I get this from the pet shop. Um, I think you can also use like baby shampoo and just kind of very soft gentle shampoos that aren't going to be too harsh on them. I'm not sure if this is the best shampoo to use but it's not seemed to cause any problems for him so far. So when it comes to bathing guinea pigs I definitely don't suggest you do this often, it's very drying for their skin, it's only very a, it's only a very if you need to bath them, if they need it. Don't do it otherwise because it, it is bad for their skin. So as you can see Rem just got a little bit nervous, he wanted to jump out, so I like to just pick them up, give them a cuddle and kind of reassure them that it's okay and let them have a little bit of a break so you will get very wet if you do it like this but it's best for the guinea pig I find. So after Rem's all nice and dry he's looking a lot cleaner as you can see there's a lot less yellow from the medication room around his ears his hair is again like I said longer than I usually leave it but I didn't want to cause him too much distress because his foot's still a bit sore you may have been able to see he's, he's bruised one of his uh, his toes, um, but yes, he's having a bit of grass as a treat. So I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video of Rem getting a haircut and a a pampering session. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.